We got an OP ward here, guys. We got Orphan Esports, Carbon Fin, Dog Will Foof, Loch Ness Monster, Pavu, and Mito versus Space Station with Agent 33, Boone, John, Hero, and Crazy Ryan. This is going to be an OP war. We got an OP lineup, and Space Station are in with the first attack. Crazy Ryan coming in on Carbon Fin's base right away. Let's see what he can do. Coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo with, holy crap, six zaps and three earthquakes. The hell is this? What is this homie going to do to Carbon Fin's base? Oh my goodness. We're going to zap the scatter shot. Three quakes. Okay, okay. Zap the clan castle. What the heck is going on? So we got rid of the clan castle, but we didn't get rid of the expo for some reason. We're running. Oh my gosh, is the RC ability going to get the scatter shot? <gasps> oh! That RC ability was dirty. And we start the queen charge at 5 o'clock. Matter daddy with the 10 bits. Thank you, homie. That RC ability was nasty. Okay, now he's going to queen charge the town hall. You got to keep in mind, though, we only have two rages. So this is going to be a little sketchy. That queen's going to fight the town hall, and she's going to have a cannon and an expo on her at the same time. So he's definitely going to have to use one rage for the town hall. I'm not sure if he'll be able to save the other rage for the Lalo or not. Needs a headhunter to help fight the king. Come on. Okay, I didn't even see the headhunter. He was hiding underneath the healer's HP bars. But there we go. Perfect headhunter. Couple of Coco Loons. He's not finding... Okay, as soon as I say that, one second air mine pops up. Does Queen even step in? Oh, God. That cannon placement is perfect to keep Queen walking around to the left. <gasps> he doesn't have a freeze. These healers are going to get absolutely toasted once the Queen activates the Town Hall. Oh, no. This is looking sketchy. This is looking sketchy. The idea was nice. Or maybe just that RC ability was sexy. But I don't know about this queen pathing. Oh, those healers. Oh, say goodbye to your healers. Three of them are dead. He's only got two left. Queen on the single. He doesn't have any freezes, but luckily the rage gets her through it. He's got two healers. Let's hope there's no seeking air mines. And he's out of spells. Literally zero spells left in this comp. Comp composition. English is hard, guys. And we're just going to start that Lala from 7 o'clock. I mean, from 4 o'clock. Goodness gracious. Two headhunters. Early warden ability, but he misses some of the loons that the eagle's targeting. That's unfortunate. Queen gets the multi. Can she get the scatter shot? If she does, I think that's enough value. We're getting the OP spinny Wi-Fi bar. Crazy Ryan is doing his attack from Whataburger. We're not going to get the enemy RC down, but we're going to damage her a little bit. Lalo coming in from the top side. No spells. And now we have that air sweeper that's going to work against us here. The eagle artillery is still alive. And we get it down quickly. Stone slammer is on the top side, going to path up toward that AD. We got two wizard towers and a royal champ to worry about with no headhunters. We do have a dragon coming out of the clan castle, but can it target the royal champ in time? The healer pops the tornado trap. That's actually really clutch. And we need that dragon to target the RC. We got minions on the RC. The dragon targets the RC. <gasps> the base is wrecked, but he's out of time? Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a buzzer beater. No, it's going to be a 99. <gasps> Rip. Carbon Finn's base holds 99%. Wow. That was interesting, to say the least. You gotta admit, that plan with the zaps and the quakes in order to do the RC trick to go like all the way to the core and hit that scatter shot, that was really creative. Especially since that was the first attack of the war and he only had like less than 20 minutes to plan that. That's insane. But now we got Pevu in with the first attack for Orphan Esports. Coming in with a zap Lalo. No queen charge this time. We're gonna zap that RC. We're gonna quake the clan castle down. An expo. A sweeper. We're going to use an Ice Golem and our Queen over here at 7 o'clock. See how much value we can get. <clears throat> We're going to send the RC. Pop her ability. Get that Inferno Tower down. RC's going to go up. Queen's going to go down. King's going to walk up toward the Town Hall. Was the Queen supposed to go up? I'm not sure if he wanted Queen to go up or if he meant for Queen to go down gonna pop that queen ability kill the rc get the air defense and a wizard tower which is pretty nice value here 
can the king take out the town hall or is he going to walk outside? The skelly trap might pull him in. Come on, king. Yes, the king goes inside. Oh my gosh. He might just go for the town hall. We still have the king ability. The ice golem is kind of wasted at this point. You should have used that ice golem a lot earlier. The ice golem really doesn't get any value now. But the town hall's down. The queen killed the royal champ on the bottom side. Honestly, the Sui value looks good so far. I don't see any major issues. If his Lalo is good, this might just crush the base. He's going to start with the early stone slammer to path through the wizard tower, the archer tower, into the scatter shot. And just start the rest of the Lalo from the top side. Here we go. Minute and 35 on the clock. Should be plenty of time. As long as his Lalo is clean. Let's see if he can do it. Stone Slammer moving into that scatter shot. Already pulled like three red bombs, which is super nice. So he doesn't have to worry about those later. First Lava Hound pops. Second Lava Hound going to path down. He only had two Lava Hounds. It looks like early Warden ability here. Does this, does this dragon get the enemy queen? It does. Wow. Queen's dead. We don't got to worry about any more heroes. Oh, that freeze was sexy. Freezes the eagle, the wizard, and the scatter shot, and then does it again. This time, he misses the eagle. You gotta, you gotta admit, that is a tough freeze to hit. Third time, he hits it again, though. Nicely done there, and this is looking good. All we gotta do is get through that multi. Come on. <clears throat> Dragon on the top side should take out the air, the archer tower that the loons missed. We got plenty of loons. It's crushed. Pevu, my man, coming in and absolutely wrecking this base. Agent's base, to be specific. Nice hit here from Pevu, and that's a triple for Orphan Esports. They take the lead here. Because of the time fail, the 99% time fail from Crazy Ryan means that they're behind by a star. But Boone is in on Pevu's base. We just saw Pevu get the OP triple. And his base hold against five Super Witches coming in from Boone. Let's see, we're going to start with an early Warden Walk up here at 1 o'clock. Get that cannon down nice and early. We're going to Quake and Zap. These defenses on the top side, we get a sweeper, we get a scatter shot and an expo and make a nice funnel here for the super witches. He's just going to warden walk the archer tower, maybe give the warden enough time to get that bomb tower, but he doesn't really need to. We'll see what he decides to do here, but I'm guessing it's going to be super witches into the town hall from the 12 o'clock side. King and siege barracks on the outside to funnel them and then a late RC from nine o'clock to help as well. Warden snipes at archer tower. And then he's not going to wait for the bomb tower to go down. Already sending the super witches from 12 o'clock. King's going to work his way down from 1030 here. Make a nice funnel. Siege barracks will likely go in at 10 or 9 o'clock. Here come all the super witches. Going to make their way straight in for that town hall. King might even fight the enemy king here if he goes in for the cannon, which I think he will. Nicely done there. So you can just use the siege barracks right where the king left off over at 930. Jump into the core. Rage through the town hall. Pop that warden ability. It's looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. <clears throat> that Warden ability just saved loons and healers from like four different Seeking Air Mines. So that Warden ability was actually really clutch. Here comes the Siege Barracks from nine. Just like I predicted. Last Rage going down in the core right there. The healers switch over to the big boys. Getting a ton of value here. Unfortunately, one of those Super Witches got locked onto by the single over at nine o'clock. So he already lost one Super Witch. Now he's about to lose another Super Witch. Queen... Had to pop her ability there. Ooh, he uses that freeze to save that second super witch at 9 o'clock. That's nice. Queen popped her ability, gets that last expo on the bottom side. Now she's going to beat through a wall and die to the archer tower cannon combo. We still got witches in the core. We got hogs and the royal champ pathing around the outer ring here from the left side of the base. Pekka and wizards doing cleanup on the outside. It's looking pretty decent. It's all going to come down to whether or not we can get through that last single target inferno at 3 o'clock. We still have the RC ability. She's going to get through the Tesla farm here without having to pop her ability just yet. But as soon as I say that, she's getting targeted by everything. There goes her ability. Skelly Trap pops. She's probably going to go down to the uh, single target Inferno here in a second. Can the P.E.K.K.A., the Wizards, the Big Boys, and the Witches get through the single target Inferno? Wow, the single target Inferno is stuck on a Big Boy and the RC actually gets through it. Well, how about that? It's a triple. RC doesn't need a freeze spell after all when she has big boys tanking for her. Nicely done there. And it's going to be a triple for Boone and for Space Station. And just like that, the pressure is back on Orphan Esports. They have to triple again to maintain their lead. The Space Station have a 99% and a triple. And we're in. The almighty Arbonfin God himself. 
Let's see if he can clan clash. He's coming in with super witches. <gasps> Ooh. How about this? Which round of Cedar Hill Esports is this? It's still group stage. I think it's a week four matchup here. But we got Carbon Finn coming in with the Zap Quake Witches. We're going to zap an Inferno Tower and two Expos over at 130. Use the Warden right behind to make a nice funnel here. And we're just going to send these Witches straight into the Town Hall and hope for the best. That Zap value is actually really nice. Just got to wait for Warden to snipe this cannon here. Unfortunately, it takes him ten and a half years to get through these storages. Hopefully he shoots the cannon before the elixir storage. He does. Okay, perfect. So now we can start the witches as soon as that cannon's dead. Pull him up to the top side. There goes the giant. Super witch, super witch, super witch. We got two more. King over at 1030. Here come the rest of the super witches. He's not using any wall breakers. He's just going to rely on the super witches to path into these openings in the wall. Hopefully they go the way he wants them to. Let's see, Coco Loon's in front. Looks like three or four. Four of the Super Witches go in from the right. One of the Super Witches went around to the left. There goes the Jump Spell. Does that connect to everything? I think it does. Jump Spell looking good here. Is he going to pop the Warden ability right here? Out come the CC troops. We got Headhunters. Yes, he does pop the Warden ability right there. Saves some of the big boys and these witches as they path into the core. There goes the Rage Spell, hopefully to get some of these big boys into that single target Inferno. We're using that Siege Barracks over at 10 o'clock to help funnel the bottom side. They're getting some really good value. Now we just gotta get through these Lava Pups and through that single target Inferno, then it should be easy money here as long as the healers switch over to the witches and to the big boys. There goes the last Rage in the core. Hogs coming out of the Siege Barracks at 10 o'clock. We're gonna use that Royal Champ to help support. They are going to have to fight that enemy king relatively quickly. Is he going to use the freeze to help the road champ get through the king? Uh, he might have to. Where's his queen? Did he lose his queen in the core? He did. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wonder if she died through her ability. This is stalling out fast, unfortunately. We got a yeti at 6 o'clock that he brought. Okay. He freezes the king to help the RC. We already used that RC ability. We got one witch still alive or is it two? I think it's only one. RC is going to get through that eagle, but the enemy warden statue is going to do a lot of damage, and I don't think the RC is going to survive through that. No, she's going to get absolutely hammered because that uh, warden hits like a truck on defense. And that super witch on the bottom side just died as well. We got one super witch left alive. Oh, don't tell me she clutches it. Or do tell me she clutches it. Hell yeah, I want to see a triple. Let's see. Come on. Super witch alive with two healers. Oh, it's going to be a time fail. Rip Carbon Finn, guys. It's going to be a time fail. Nine seconds left. He doesn't have enough time to get through these buildings. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 95% for Finn. Wow. 95% time fail for Carbon Finn. And we're basically tied after the second round of attacks. Five to five on stars, but Space Station are up by literally four buildings 39.8 percent to 39 percent it's just four buildings that make the difference and the next attack is already in hero is in on Mito. let's see what he's bringing coming in with mass witches but this time they're not super they're lame witches the normal regular small witches 14 of them though with five zaps and an earthquake and we got three super wall breakers let's see we're going to start with that Warden Walk at 4.30. Zap the Scattershot and the Expo here. Earthquake to damage all three of those lower buildings as well. That'll help speed up the Warden Walk just by a little bit, which is nice. We're going to let that Warden shoot the cannon, and we're pretty much free to spam all these witches from the 6 o'clock side of the base. Straight into the Town Hall. I bet that's the goal here. We're going to let Warden snipe that Wizard Tower, though, just to help out a little bit. As long as we don't run out of time, that's always good value. Let him get a free Wizard Tower there. And then boom, here we go. We'll just spam all those witches. Queen in as well. Warden gets locked onto by the eagle. That's interesting. King on the bottom side. We find one Tesla. A couple extra witches there. We're probably going to use the siege barracks closer to 9 o'clock. Bunch of Coco Loons going in front of the healers. Queen gets targeted by the eagle now. Out come the CC troops. Headhunters and super minions. What do we poison? <clears throat> we, we don't have any poison spells. Never mind. We're not poisoning anything. We're going to go ahead and pop that Warren ability early. Down goes the Town Hall. King ability to help make the funnel here. Rage as well. We already sent one Wallbreaker. 
We're sending another wall breaker from 730 and look at him go. Oh, he's going to get that nice junction break to give everybody access to that single target inferno. That was a really nice wall break. Are we going to wall break again to the builder hut? We are. Ooh. These healers on witches are getting a ton of value. Warden is still alive. Queen's still alive. King died. But we still got the R the RC to use. And we're going to drop her right at 1030. Jump into the eagle. Oh my gosh, this is looking smashed from Hero. This is looking good unless somehow these witches hit like a quadruple giant bomb. I think it's a triple. We're going to freeze the scatter shot there to keep that Royal Champ alive on the top side of the base. Queen and 84 and a half witches are pathing into these last two single target infernos. And I don't think they can be stopped. I don't think they can be stopped. We even have back end balloons for the mortar to make sure our witches stay alive. That's some OP planning from Hero right here. Minion at 3 o'clock, 50 seconds on the clock. This is a triple all day long. My goodness, Space Station, just like that, are going to maintain their lead and get even farther ahead here. Two triples to one after this OP spam witch attack right there. That was a really nice plan, perfectly executed. I can't see anything he did wrong there. Nicely done with the Warden Walk into Mass Witch. All three of those wall breaks were pretty sexy as well. And Dog Wolf is in for Orphan Esports. They need another triple here to catch back up. Let's see if they can do it. We're coming in with another Super Witch attack. That just really seems to be the meta right now, guys. Use Super Witches. Use normal Witches. Just do something that's not a Queen Charge. It's queen Charges result in time fails. So here we go. Warden at 730. Gonna be able to snipe a few buildings here. We currently have a Wall Wrecker activated. We'll see if he switches that or if he's actually going to use the wall wrecker. Yeah, he's going to use that wall wrecker straight in front of the witches here. Going to get him all the way to the town hall unless the single target inferno absolutely wrecks this wall wrecker. But just to make sure, we're going to we're going to use a free spell right there on the single to make sure this wall wrecker gets all the way downtown. Holy goblins and archers in the CC and a few headhunters. Still have that warden ability to pop. The witch pathing's a little unclear here because of those storages. Yep, some of the witches are going to go down. Looks like actually only one witch went down. Some of the troops are going up. There's still a headhunter alive there. Finally, we kill it. Jump in the core. There is a Tesla farm in the core of the base. And what is this pathing? We have hogs on the bottom side in front of the Royal Champion. Those were hogs from our army camps. They're not siege barracks hogs or anything like that. Freeze the scatter shot on the top side. The hogs help the road champ get through that bottom side inferno tower without having to use her ability, and she's still at full health. Ooh, one more rage through the core here. This is not looking bad for Dog Wolf. Wolf. That RC is going to get a lot of value over here. She's not really targeted by anything except for that one cannon. The expos are all locked onto a super witch here. Now they're switching targets. Queen pops her ability on the top side. Can she get through the single target inferno? Oh, she gets two shots off. Only one shot, but not quite enough. RC's going to have to pop her ability here. Not enough to kill those cannons. They're still at one HP. And with that Warden on the outside, boom, absolutely snipes that RC. This still might get through. Hold on. We got a minute on the clock, which is plenty of time. One Super Witch on the outside. One Super Witch in the core here with healers. She's not going to die. I don't think either of these Super Witches are going to die. It's going to come down to time yet again. Do we have enough time? To get through all these defenses on the top side that warden is helping the super witch beat through a wall but they're gonna have to beat through another wall right afterward 37 seconds on the clock warden says see you later nerd he hops off of the wall he's gonna walk up and get targeted by the single target inferno rest in peace to the warden he's gonna go down the super witch in the core might have enough time to take out the single as long as the super witch on the top side can stay alive but as soon as i say that she gets targeted by the single target inferno she's gonna go down the big boy and wizard on the top side. Oh my gosh, I think we're going to get it. We're going to get it, or is it going to be a 99? <gasps> no. Big boy is going to get the cannon. The other big boy and wizard should get the building on the top side. Three seconds to go. Come on, Super Witch. Shoot the Inferno. She's not shooting. She stuttered. Did anybody see that? That Super Witch did not shoot for like the last three seconds of the attack. And it's a 98%. Yo, I got to rewatch that. Hold up. She, I know she was summoning the big boy, but still, there was like a solid two seconds or three seconds where the big boy was already spawned and the super witch just stood there and did nothing. 
Let's see if we can watch that in four times speed again real quick before the next live goes in. I want to see how long that actually was. It's still, even if the Super Witch had gotten a few shots off, it would have been a 99. So it wouldn't have been the triple. Because it finished at 98%, but still, I want to see what happened there. That was weird. Here she goes. <clears throat> And then I'm going to slow it down right now. Okay, we're in normal one-time speed. Watch this Super Witch. The next live attack is going in, but watch this Super Witch. She spawns the big boy, and then one, two, three. Look, she's like frozen. She's actually frozen. She wasn't even moving. That's so weird. I think that was a glitch. Three solid seconds there where she didn't move at all. That was weird. But here we got John coming in with a zap, Lalo, with a golem. Oh boy. We zapped. What did we zap? A scatter shot. One expo. The queen. A sweeper. And probably just like a, an elixir collector or something. We're using the RC over here at 930 for the multi-target inferno. She finds a skelly trap. Queen. Oh, queen's going to go inside the wall here and help get the eagle. That's kind of neat. I don't know if that was actually intended or not. We're going to freeze that enemy RC. Wall break. Yeah, that wasn't intended. He meant for the queen to walk down behind this golem. And she still is going to go down. Wow. We pull the clan castle. Somehow he pulled three goblins and the lava hound, but didn't pull the headhunters. Ah, that's kind of unfortunate because he uses the poison here. And now he's going to have to deal with the headhunters on the fly without the poison spell. Uh-oh. Unless I missed something earlier, I'm guessing there's still two headhunters in there. Hmm. Let's see. It's probably still two headhunters. We don't get that multi on the Sui like he was expecting. So we're going to start the Lalo straight into that multi. With the Warden. Where's the Warden? Yep, there's the Warden. And a Lalo into the multi here. Should be close to 50% by the time we get to that Town Hall. And are there headhunters? No. Okay, so I did miss something earlier. He probably did kill the headhunters and I just didn't see it. We're going to freeze that town hall. <clears throat> Stone Slammer gets over it. Loons as well. Pops that warden ability at the perfect time. We still have a scatter shot on the back end that we have to worry about. Uh-oh. Find the tornado trap in the core. Two loons pop it with a couple of red bombs. All these loons are clumped up before they go into the scatter shot. That's not good. Scatter shot's going to have an absolute heyday on these loons here. We're going to try to haste into it. The scatter targets the two loons on the top side. That's actually clutch. This might work because of that. Can we get them to path to the wizard tower after the cannon goes down? Ooh, we still got a dragon alive as well. 40 seconds on the clock. Come on, wizard tower. Don't kill all the loons. Ooh, it's going to be close. Can we get through the air defense and the archer tower? Dragon and minions are working on that king. We get through the air defense, but both archer towers are still up. No loons for cleanup. We're probably looking at another time fail. Dragon and Warden should be able to clutch it up, but do they have time to get through everything? I don't think so. 14 seconds on the clock. Nope, no way. Yet again, another time fail. I guess the Headhunters came out before the Hound and somebody killed them, but I missed it. But this one is just going to barely fall short on time yet again at 96%. Just barely grabbed that lab before the attack ended. Nice try to John. But man, almost, I mean, every attack here, the lowest percent attack we've had in this war is Carbon Fins 95. That just goes to show you how good the plans have been in this war so far. Nothing but 95% plus attacks. Ow, 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 ow. Don't scratch me, bunny. Mito is in on base number four. Let's see what he's bringing. Ooh, boy, the queen charge la low. Here we go. Now, normally on this style of base, you see the multi-target Inferno by itself in the core. Ow, ow, bunny. Stop kicking me, dude. Ow. Okay, you can go on the bed. Bye-bye. But this time, Hero from Space Station is rocking the single-target Inferno in the core. Let's see how Mito's going to queen charge this. King to funnel the right side. Queen's going to walk in over at 730. That is one aggressive rage there. Healer's just now getting inside of the rage, but it actually worked out perfectly. 
She's going to have to fight the enemy queen, so we very smartly freeze the queen and the expo there. We don't have any wall breakers on this attack. So that's his goal here. He doesn't even want to mess with that single target inferno. He just wants to skip it completely. He just wants his queen to walk all the way around and get all the value except the single target inferno. This is OP. You see, if that was a multi in the core, I don't think he would have gone for this approach. But because it's a single, it really doesn't matter for Lalo. He still has his RC that he can use for the eagle if he wants to. And then he can Lalo anywhere or he can just let the queen walk around the entire base and just not even drop the Lalo troops. Finally, we're going to fight the CC troops. Two headhunters, hound, pretty classic CC, except for the super minion CC that we've seen a lot of lately. Lots of minions to help funnel that queen. She's even going to be able to go walk the town hall. She can literally walk the entire base, except for that single in the core. So yeah, why even bother trying to wall break your queen in for that single? Just let it be. As long as we don't time fail, this is crushed. I mean, we only have a minute and 15 on the clock, so he's got to start the Lalo right now. And here we go, Laloing straight into the Eagle. We're going to save the RC for later. Ace the loons into the Eagle. Rely on the Queen to get the Town Hall. <clears throat> as long as he gives the Queen one more rage, the Town Hall and everything at 12 o'clock should be secured by the Queen. We need to pop that Warren ability soon to help deal with this enemy RC. <gasps> Both Headhunters got sprung. Oh no, that's not good. We need to get the, the Lava Pups in the Warden ability to make sure this RC dies. Queen gets the Town Hall. We blimp instead of using a Stone Slammer. And we have Sneaky Goblins in the blimp. Maybe the Sneaky Goblins are to help with cleanup in the core. We're going to pretend like that was 900 IQ, even though I'm not sure if it was on purpose or not. But look at those Sneaky Goblins in the core. They're going to melt through those storages to make sure this isn't a time fail. And he still has the queen ability. He's got a swag haste, guys. This is crushed. This is crushed. Godly queen charge Lalo from Mido gets it done. And that's going to be a triple. And just like that, Orphan Esports are back in it. I think we're tight on stars, right? Yes, we are. 10 to 10 going into the last round of attacks here. And Space Station have the slight percentage lead 79 to 78.6. That's literally two buildings two buildings that make the difference so if space station triple their next attack the war is over but if they don't orphan esports have a chance to win the war swag haste warden and aq i dare say the blimp the entire clan castle troops on offense and the siege machine was swagged as well i think he triples even if he doesn't use that <laughs> and here we go agent 33 is in can dog wolf wolf's base hold against agent 33 we're coming in with a zap lalo seven zaps one earthquake and a poison what are we gonna zap if we're not zapping the cc i guess the eagle maybe the eagle and the rc and the and two expos Ooh, unfortunately he doesn't hit the rc although i think he meant to for some reason the zaps don't connect with her but he does get the Sweeper, the Eagle, both Expos, and whatever that building next to the Eagle was on the top right side. We're going to funnel that one Archer Tower at 11 o'clock. Drop the Queen here at 1030. She's going to go in, presumably, to get the enemy RC and the Scatter Shot and the Air Defense with her ability. We're not yet dropping that King. We have an Ice Golem to help with the Queen. And we're going to send the King inside because he is going to have to deal with the Clan Castle troops. I think it was an AD that he zapped there next to the Eagle. So pretty good value from that zaps. King should be going inside. The funnel at 9 o'clock was good. Ooh, we're going to use the RC as well. We really want to make sure we get all the value here. And I just noticed he has a super wall breaker. Guys, I think he's trying to wall break his King and Queen and RC into that Town Hall. I think we're going for the ballsy, huge... Sui half the base play here that normally only somebody like Nick could pull off, but Agent 33 is a god as well. But unfortunately, we have to pop that Queen ability. Ooh, King wrapped around outside the base because the wall break was late and he doesn't freeze again. Oh, he does? <gasps> oh! Can Queen get that town hall? Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, no! Rip. The Town Hall stays up, but luckily he still can switch to a, a Stone Slammer here and get the Town Hall quite easily. If he had gotten that Town Hall with a Sui, that would have been nasty. And we're going to Lalo from the top. 
He's using the stone slammer for the town hall, and we're lolloing from the top side behind the sweeper. Down goes that town hall. Ooh, Tesla farm with the multi-target inferno in the core. That's going to hurt the lolo. But if anybody can do this lolo, it's somebody like Agent. Let's see if he can do it. Pops that warden ability. He does get the main group of Lunas of Path into the core here, but that scatter shot, oh, it's doing a lot of damage. Scatter shot might just ruin this. It is. Oh my god, it's going to be a defense. Or is it? <gasps> oh, as soon as I say that, of course I jinx it. <laughs> it's going to be a triple. How does he pull it off? Wow. Can we get through those last two wizard towers? I think we can, even with the warden dying to the single. He's got enough loons to get through that last wizard tower. Oh my gosh. Agent 33. This man is unstoppable. Down goes the last wizard tower. And ooh, we're going to get stuck on the king. Don't tell me I jinxed it. And it's going to be a 99. Don't tell me. There's an elixir collector at 730, guys. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. I actually jinxed it. <laughs> It's a 99% for Agent 33 and for Space Station. Oh my gosh. Which means everything comes down to the last attack for Orphan Esports. They cannot win on percent. They cannot catch up to Space Station on percent. But if they triple, they win 13 to 12 on stars. It all comes down to Loch Ness Monster. All the pressure on Orphan Esports here. Can he get it done? That collector was was on like one HP. Oh my gosh, poor agent. Wow. We got a good war here. This is a great war. Like I said earlier, literally the lowest percentage attack in this war has been a 95. Every single attack here has been either triple or almost had the triple. This has been an OP war and we're about to see the last attack come in from Orphan Esports and this determines who wins it. All or nothing right here. Doesn't matter if he gets a one star. Doesn't matter if he gets a 99. It's triple or nothing. Let's see if Loch Ness Monster can do it. Should be going in any second now. He's already late. Come on, Loch Ness Monster. Wipe the sweat off your hands. We know you're nervous, but you got to do it. You got to do it. Where is he? Don't tell me he fell asleep. There he is. Not pulling a husk today. Loch Ness Monster in with the Queen Charge Lalo. With two zaps and one quake and no poison spell? What in the world? How do you not take a poison spell here? We're going to try to RC trick this scattershot and it works perfectly. But the balls on this man to not take a poison. And it's like 78 archers. Oh, this is worst case scenario. Why don't you have a poison? Oh no, we're going to have to freeze. Freeze, please freeze, please freeze. We do freeze, okay. Please tell me that wizard can help us get through all these troops in time. Oh no, wizard is stuttering. We gotta freeze again, freeze, 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 no! Oh, that costed him the ability. She does get through the CC troops, but it costed us two freezes, a rage, and the ability. Ripperoni. I'm guessing that had to have just been a mistake. He meant to bring a poison, but didn't for some reason. Oh man, but here we go. We're gonna wall break that queen in. He's going to charge the bottom side of the base. But the, the sad news is there's a single target Inferno above that eagle. We don't have the queen ability and we used all of our freezes already. This is why when I do queen charge Lalo, I never take haste spells. He's going to try to start the Lalo early to keep that queen alive, but it doesn't matter. That queen's dead. The single locks onto her. This is why I always take like three or four freezes. Oh, she almost got it too. Damn, it's going to be a defense. That's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. The plan was probably really good. Queen could have just walked around the whole entire base and he would have just blimped the town hall. And literally, if the queen stays alive, look at how much she can reach. You can just walk through the entire base and even inside this compartment and even inside this compartment. I mean, the queen could have literally reached every building in the base except the town hall, which he would have just used the blimp for. I'm 100% sure that would have been a triple if he brought a poison spell. That would have been a triple. That's so unfortunate for Loch Ness Monster. Man, the plan was good, but it's going to fall short here. There weren't even any Seeking Air Mines to stop this. He still has all five healers alive. Wow. 
it's gonna be a fail and it's gonna be a victory for space station if he had brought one poison spell i think this would have been a victory for orphan esports man what a war though what a war that was a fun one to watch we got the swag haste that we don't even need here could have been a poison oof you live and you learn though nice try here to orphan esports they're gonna fall short and lose on percent it's gonna be a percentage win to space station 12 to 12 98.8 to 94.8